what are you doing to your truck, babe? Getting rid of the Longhorn Grill. <laughs> She's ditching the Longhorn Grill already. I cannot freaking believe this. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you serious? She's totally kidding. She's kidding, guys. We're not getting rid of her Longhorn Grill. But I did say this would be kind of funny. Do a day, or like a week, because the day would be kind of annoying, and swap the wheels between the long, I mean not the long, the tradesman, the, the BD, the, I can't even remember. Okay, the DB build and the Rosine build. Yeah. Which by the way, the Rosine build needs more build stuff to happen soon, so it's on the agenda. It's on the agenda. But she wanted to get this truck looking really good first, um, just because. Because nothing stays stock around here. No, I just, we just couldn't help it. Like, this truck looks super aftermarket, and it needs some stuff. <laughs> yes, good, but it needs some stuff done under the hood. In this truck, we wanted it to look super aftermarket really quick, so we could, like, make some posters and stuff like that, and then and then start working out of the hood, because, you know. In all yeah. seriousness, who really cares about stuff under the hood, right? Right, you don't even see it. I don't even see it, it's not even important. So, I'm going to let her get to working on her truck and getting that all taken apart. You guys are just going to have to stay tuned to see what all we're going to do to this thing. It's going to be freaking sweet. It's going to be so cool. Hey, hopefully, you guys are doing absolutely fabulous. Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So, today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be necessarily like a super hands-on tutorial on how to do stuff on a truck or like close-ups and tons of time lapse on actually what we're doing to the truck, but it's going to be a piece by piece of a transformation of my wife's diesel bay build throughout the day. So she's got a few things that she's going to be doing. It's going to be some front end stuff. She's going to be doing some tail end stuff. She's going to be doing some front suspension stuff. You guys are going to have to wait and see that till the end of the video. Um, but it's going to be really cool. It's going to be kind of a, I think you guys are going to like this video a lot because it's like, it's like taking almost like what I did with my dad's King Ranch and it's kind of like transforming a truck from one look to a completely different look in one video and you get to see like the whole progression of it and this is actually all happening today she's going to be making three different videos but since her videos are already up by the time you see this video which by the way her channel is rosine 24v i thought it would be appropriate to be able to post this kind of show the whole thing in one video in one day so thank you guys so much for tuning in also do not forget tomorrow is your last chance to get double entries for every five dollars you spend to win the silver bullet third gen by the time you guys actually see this video that truck will look a lot different. However, at this current state, that is how you're going to see it in this video. But every $5 gets you two entries to win that truck right there. And that giveaway ends September 1st. However, the double entry period ends tomorrow, August 3rd. So get your double entries while you can. Every $5 gets you two entries to win. After that, it'll be every $5 gets you just one entry to win. Information is in the description below. Enter to win that truck while you can. Well, she did get her new headlights put in and they look freaking so good. I told her when we unbox these headlights, I said, I gotta be honest, I'm gonna be a little bit jealous of this truck because I'm like, it's gonna look so good when you get these headlights, tail lights, and all this stuff done to it. Today I said it's gonna look so freaking good. And with the new grill on it too from the Longhorn, it's just like the effect this truck puts off now, totally different level than when she first got it. I mean, obviously stock trucks are cool. They get the job done, but it's just not what we're about. Like we just like everything looking cool, aftermarket and just, I don't know, just over the top, just cool factor. And I think this truck definitely puts off that vibe and it's definitely not anywhere close to being done yet. She's still got a whole bunch of stuff we're gonna be doing to it today. What do you think about your headlights, honestly? Uh, I like them a lot. <laughs> like a lot, a lot or like a little? A no, lot? I like them a lot. I just, I thought when we first did them, we thought they were like the ones where they had like LED bar and then amber. Like a switch back down there. All this is amber, so now I'm gonna like puzzle of what I'm gonna do with cab lights. Like, should I leave them amber? Well, see, here's the thing. Amber? Here's the thing that I was telling her. I said the lighting, the the crystally looking like uh, outline of the headlight and the cab light. I mean, the mirror lenses and the cab light lenses are all the same crystally clear thing that makes any sense versus just a straight clear. Right. And it looks good, obviously. So her truck's gonna go from like this type of look and then it's gonna go to a completely different look after we get this first build done. All right, but the one, I feel like once I color match, if 
if I color match it. I'm not going to ruin this first. But once I color match it, then I'll probably, like, obviously I'll have white and pink headlights. Yeah. And then I'll tend to keep cab lights because yeah. that would look lost. But, yeah. Which we have, you know, some other stuff. She's got I ideas. got ideas. I'm just talking. Yeah. So anyways, we're going to get to installing her tail lights now. And there are her tail lights. And boy, do they look good. This white, man, I'm telling you. This white just looks so good with all these mods. It just looks so much better. Like everything just looks better. I don't know why, it just does. So there's your tails. Get you guys the full rear view right there. And the detail in these lights is actually pretty crazy. They look really good. And then you got your third brake light she put in here. That's a smoked out third brake light with LEDs. White LED for daytime, and then um, red LED for brakes. All that being done, we are now gonna head up to, well, first we gotta head over to the BMW. We gotta get her plates because she doesn't have plates on her truck still. So we're gonna go get some plates, register it real quick, head up to Devon's and get ourselves a front leveling kit put in on this truck and also check on that mud truck he got started up. Well, we're on the road up to Devon's, of course. We don't do lift kits ourselves. I know, I know, I know. We're gonna hear it in the comments again. But anyways, guys, this truck has been riding really nice. The only thing that annoys me with these tires is a little bit of vibration and a lot of road noise. They are a very noisy tire. Now, when you're playing music, it's not bad. You drown it out. However, for a new truck with the new soundproofing and all the stuff that they have in these cabs, it's kind of crazy to be able to hear that tire this loud with all the windows closed, doors shut, I mean, everything. Like, it's just like, it's, it's actually, Listen, it's actually kind of loud. I don't know if you could hear that or not, but it's, it's a little bit noisy. Um, but we are almost to Devon's, and hopefully we can get a little bit of video around that mud truck that I gave him, and then uh, we can get this done on this truck, no problem. <laughs> That's how thick it is. <laughs> so Devin, you don't approve of the transmission in that truck I gave you? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it wouldn't even move like, at all. Like, I got it running. First year, all the way to first, and it didn't want to move. It went second to uh, third, and then drive, overdrive, nothing. Wouldn't even go in reverse. That was the video that I quit and I gave up on that truck. Actually, I was, was like, it? Well, it doesn't drive. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was it was bad. Like um, I pulled the that that overfill tube piece on uh -huh. it to think it would drain out. And everything, yeah, no, it it was so thick it wouldn't even drain out. So I had to pull the whole pan just to get get it draining. Guys, this is why I gave it to him because I'm like, I'm not gonna take the time to get this oh, fixed. Oh, it's so bad. And I said, since it doesn't start or drive, I said, nobody's gonna give me anything for it. I'm like, but Devin sees the potential in it, so he can oh, have yeah. it. The, <laughs> like the oil was thicker. Oh, yeah? <laughs> like, I was like, holy moly. And when I, so when I got it home, I didn't mess with it that night. Uh, the next day I got off of work and came home and my wife went out there with me and, um, she was bumping the key and everything and then all that and I hit the solenoid and it fired off and then like she um she's like, I got it started. Oh man dude, I hit the gas and it just water like literally just blah, like oh, it covered no. the whole side of the truck and everything. My wife shut the door because there's so much water. <laughs> That That's was hilarious. hilarious. He's yeah. like, he's like, I was thinking about just like replacing the floorboards and the cab corners and the rockers and the <laughs> the bed and the fender. I'm like, it needs a whole new truck sitting yeah. on that frame. Uh, my buddy was like, you should just rebuild the motor and training and all that. Yeah. And find like your grandpa truck, like a 1500, and put I mean, it all in there. Look, look what he found in the. Yeah. What he found in the <laughs> this is how thick the training floorboards. It's oh, like, yeah. it's like cement. Yeah. It's that's actually kind of nasty. It's actually crazy. super nasty. Like it's thick. Well, it was crazy. I guess enjoy it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna rebuild it all. So you said you got the fluid flush out of the engine though? Yeah. Yeah. I got everything. I got everything out. It's been draining for two days. Oh. Yeah, I left all the plugs off. So sweet. But I think I don't know. Maybe tonight I'll clean everything and try and put fluid back in it. It's like new fluids and see if um, I can get it to move under its own pressure. Because I'm, I'm gonna rip it all apart, even the axles, I'm gonna powder coat everything. So, Sweet. it'll be cool.
There she is, all leveled out. So today we got done the two and a half inch front leveling kit. New fifth gen style headlights, 1500 fifth gen style. Compare them side by side. And then we've got the new rear tail lights. Yeah, new third brake light she did. Overall, how do you feel about the whole day's work? Tired. Tired, yeah, because we got to really work now, tired, too. Really tired, I know. <laughs> we got to work more. But, um, yeah. Transformation, though, for one day. Impressed? I think it's a lot. Yeah. It's impressive, though. It looks really good. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Do not forget to leave comments down below, but do not forget, tomorrow is your last day to be able to enter and get two entries for every five dollars you spend that's a lot of entries towards winning this truck if you guys want to be as lucky as michael who's going to be picking up his truck here probably in this next video you guys see this is a super great opportunity for you to take home a super nice truck thank you guys so much information is in the description below remember tomorrow's the last day to get double entries thank you guys so much subscribe if you're new join the team join the family and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace